This video provides a demonstration of how to download a trial version of Dirobes and how to navigate the user interface. We will start by downloading the current version of the 10-day trial software, then explore the basics of opening the programs, accessing the examples directory, and viewing the user manual. To begin, you will need a .v2c file. This is an activation file that is provided to you by the developers of Dirobes. This file does not have to be saved on your desktop. I'm just putting it here for the purpose of the demonstration. We will need this file at the end to complete the installation process. So if you do not already have it, you will need to contact support through the Dirobes website. Start by opening a web browser. Then enter the link to the Dirobes downloads page. Enter the password dirobes, all lowercase, in order to access the downloads page. Once you are at the download page, you will see all of the different versions of dirobes that are available for downloading. Right now, the most recent version is 2020A. As you are watching this video, there may be a more recent version available. For this example, we are going to download 2020A but the process will be the same for downloading other versions. Click on the top item to begin the download process. Once the download is complete, click on the executable file, at this point you will be prompted to enter a password. The password in this case is dirobes2020 underscore setup. This is because I am downloading version 20.20. For example, if I were downloading version 20.10, then the password would be dirobes2010 underscore setup. Enter the password for your version into the dialog box. Press Next and follow instructions. Open your file explorer and navigate to the Dirobes directory on your computer's hard drive. Typically for Windows machines, it is located on the C drive. I downloaded version 2021, so I have a folder named Dirobes 2021. Locate the install hast driver. Select it, right click, and run. Next, find the rus underscore cootg executable file. Again, select the file, right click, and run the program. This can also be done by double clicking. When you see this box pop up, select apply license file. Then click on the ellipses in the lower right hand corner. Select the .v2c file that was saved on your computer earlier. Now that you have downloaded Dirobes onto your computer, we can open up the program by double-clicking on the icon. Choose Rotor Dynamics to open up the rotor modeling software. This is what Dirobes looks like when you first open it. Choose Project. Open, and now we are going to open a Dirobes rotor model.
This is the Diarobes directory that was installed on your computer when you downloaded the software. Within the Diarobes directory, there's the example folder. And within the example folder, you can find lots of different Diarobes model files. Once you've opened a rotor model, you can look at how the model is constructed by going into the data editor. Here in the data editor, you can see the shaft elements, the material, and everything else that defines the model. You can also open up vperf, which is the bearing program, in the exact same way. Go back to the Diarobes menu and select vperf. The user interface for vperf is very similar to the rotor program, and in the examples directory, you can also find lots of bearing file examples. The last topic of this video is accessing the user manuals. The user manuals can be accessed from the Diarobes directory. Here, you can find these files which are compiled HTML files and for each different program, you can find the user manual. For example, this is the user manual that describes the unit system in the rotor program. Another method of accessing the user manual is through the website. From the Diarobes homepage, select Training, User Manuals, Manuals, and then you can access the online viewer for multiple different programs. That concludes this Diarobes video. Thank you for watching.